Look. All right, folks, I think we are live. Good morning, good morning. Hello and welcome back. I hope you guys are having a wonderful, wonderful morning. So we haven't talked about DF64V in quite a while. Okay, it's been a while, goodness. At least a couple of months. I've been using it at home uh, daily, okay? Every single day. I've been using it for the last couple of months now. So let me share with you, okay, what I really think about it, okay? What I really think about DF64V. So by the way, if you are joining us for the first time, welcome to live streaming, okay? I had some technical glitch yesterday, so I'm still having some issues with the YouTube live. Uh, somehow, we, uh, I figured it out this morning, but having some real, uh, real issues, but hopefully we're gonna go smoothly and see what happens. Anyway, again, uh, welcome to the live. So, uh, I had this DF64V for about six, wait, three or four months now. And then uh, I've been using it daily at home for last couple of months. Uh, as you can see, you know what? Maybe I, I should flip the camera. Okay. Let me flip the camera for you guys. Hold on. So let's take a close look. So it comes with a various color. And then I got the silver one. Okay. I have a silver. And then I prefer gray or black. Uh, but. I'm going to big shout out to Joe from Espresso Outlet to hook me up with this so I can use it at home. Uh, as you can see, I mean, this is very compact, small form factor. I mean, I really like using it. Okay. Comes with a quarter filter stand as well, uh, dosing cup stand as well. Uh, they usually comes with the metal one, but I'm using the uh, dosing cup. So this is the 54 millimeter dosing cup. So fit into your Bravo machine, uh, Bravo 54 millimeter, if just like so. Okay. So that's what I'm I'm using. Uh, we have the power button switch to the right, and then we have a RPM controller to the left, as you can see from here. Uh, you can go all the way up to 1800 RPM, as you can see. And all the way down hold on, to 600 RPM. Okay. By the way, that light is on all the time. So if you are sensitive to light at night, uh, you just unplug the power. Okay. Again, 1800 to 600 as RPM. I, I usually set around, you know, like 1200 RPM for my espresso. If I do filter coffee, I go down about 800 RPM. It's all dependent, you know, whatever you want, okay? If you want to set at 1800 RPM, you could do that as well. So let's set at 16 for today. Just like so. Okay. Uh, comes to grinder size, grinder adjustment to the top. You can actually adjust it. And then you're going to see the numbers there as well. Hopefully you guys are going to see it. Okay, give you guys close up. That's why I don't like. Uh, I'm not. A, I mean, if you're gonna get one, just get the uh, right color. Okay. So right now, that is the dot right there. That is the dot. With the silver, it's kind of like hard to see it. All right. But if you go to black or gray, uh, you're gonna see much better. So right now, I set up maybe like. Uh, five clicks right so five between like eight clicks so uh each clicks you know represent one five i meant about eight clicks from the zero okay from the zero so and then you can go i mean you can do espresso all the way to you know filter coffee french press and then with my pour over i usually set pass i don't know what the number is Let's zoom it up here. 90. So, yeah. Past 90. I usually set about here, just past the 90 points. You know, let's grind some coffee beans. Yeah. And I'm going to show you the things I like or I don't like about this grinder. 
So let's start with the I don't like about this grinder, okay? Let's start with the negative first, all right? Okay, comes to, I'm, I'm gonna do this at 18 gram. I don't know, some of you heard about the RDT, it's called Ross Dropper Technique. Just simply, you, you need to add, you know, drop of water. I know people like to use spray bottle. I like to use just a couple drops of water there. Okay, just like so. Maybe one more. Okay, one more drop. This is a must, guys. All right. With DF64, that's the one thing I really don't like about this grinder, especially living in Arizona, so dry here. The static is an issue. Okay. The RDT is must. All right. You do not want to do R uh, you do not want to do uh, you do not want not to do RDT. So let's put some coffee beans in. Okay, I I did about a couple drops. It may not be en enough. Give you guys a little close up here. Okay, the things are like you can actually remove the shoes. It's magnetic. All right. Okay, so not too bad. Retention is not that bad as well. A little bit of static there. Can you imagine without RDT there? It's gonna be messy. So that's one thing I don't like about it. All right. So that is must. Okay. I'm just gonna zoom it up. And then after, uh, there comes the bellow. But I'm not a big fan of using the bellow, that rubber piece there. I just like to top it. That's it. it comes to retention wise, they're pretty good anyway. Just tap. Yeah, again, with RDT, not a whole lot of static there. All right, let's brew some coffee with it. gonna do dummy shots uh, think about the Bravo Brista Pro there's no way to heat it up the porter filter so you just gotta do a couple dummy shots all right, I'm just gonna go here. Just give it a quick tap. I know some people like to spin it. I don't know why, that's pointless. Okay, I just lift it gently. Okay, so that is an 18 gram, okay. As you can see, that's quite a bit, okay. I like to do a little bit of WDT. I mean, it's called a wise distribution technique. This is just a wine cork and some acupuncture needle. Okay, I'm just gonna set it right here. Give it a quick tap. Okay. I'm using like medium to dark roast coffee this morning. So this is 18 gram, okay. A little overflown. I mean that's okay. I mean that, that's fine. Just just gentle tap. Use your favorite distribution tool. I'm just gonna use my San Anthony industry tool here. Alright. So this is 18 gram basket. And I like to use a quick pop screen on the top. You don't have to. Okay. You definitely not. No need to do it. But I'm just gonna lock it in. Okay, folks, let's pull the shot. All right, let's pull the shot here. I got my scale. I'm using it's called tiny scale. What a name! It's called tiny two S. 
but he does the job though. Okay. All right, let's uh, let's look at the shot quality of that grinder. Okay, hopefully I have the grind size correctly. Let's take a look from the bottom. It looks pretty good. I'm gonna stop around like 40 gram or so. I got 28 seconds at 38 gram. That looks quite nice. Okay, that is perfect. That is good as good. 40 gram shot. Man. Beautiful crema. You know, I do like this coffee though. Okay, so this is the the liquid amber uh, from friends at Good Brothers Coffee there. Hold on, let me flip the camera back here. Hold on. Again, uh, comes to you shot quality from DF64. I mean, just like any other uh, 64 millimeter grinder, but with uh, DF64V, uh, so they changed the burr uh, design, okay? So uh, it's called DLC, diamond light cut, okay? So they are very strong. Uh, they designed, uh, they redesigned the burrs as well. And so let's try this coffee, cheers. I'm just gonna have a quick sip here. Dark chocolate, nutty, sweet, creamy. If you are into black coffee, this is kind of traditional uh, Neapolitan style. I mean, this is fantastic, okay? I know you guys see me with a puck screen on, on this channel. The reason why I like to use a puck screen, this, that's it. Give you that nice dry puck every single time. That's the only reason. I know people like to use, uh, you know, give you a better distribution of water, but you know what? In reality, I haven't seen it yet. Okay. Tastes pretty much the same to me. And the great thing about the bottomless port filter, you can actually study your shot. Okay. You see that right there? You see that? So that is a channeling going on right there. All right. Which means I have not done proper uh, WDT. Okay, which means when I'm doing the WDT, I just make sure go all the way down to deep, declump everything, you know, just make sure nice and even, declump everything there. So yeah, which means I haven't done good job with it. That's all. So which means next time if I'm gonna do WDT, just make sure to do it properly. Kind of like learning tools. Okay, it's not gonna give you a better shot or a better tasting shot for the bottomless, but at least give you a uh, kind of like insight of what is going on with your shot there as well. And uh, this grinder I've been using, again, DF64V, I've been using daily, but I only do, do about maybe two shots every morning. Okay, so it's not a lot, all right? So it needs the time to season the burrs. Seasoning means you have to go through, I don't know, some people go out there, put in like 10 kilogram of coffee through it, because the edge is really sharp right now with the seasoning process is to make that edge nice and smooth and they bring out even sweetness in that cup so uh, again so back to the f64 view overall i mean small form factor as you can see from here fits in every kitchen variable rpm speed i mean is that matters not really, but it's nice to feature, okay? It's nice to have it. I set at 1600 or 1400, I haven't changed it in weeks and months. So again, it's nice to have that option. Okay, one of you buying something now, especially 64 millimeter grinder market that are extremely competitive, okay? 
and then plus the, you have a lot of options in birds uh, bird option as well so I mean I really like about 64 millimeter arena and again the the things I don't like you saw it the RDT is must okay the rust replica technique without any RDT it's gonna be messy okay you know let me show you okay and let me show you I mean you saw the with RDT okay I'm going to show you without RDT on this DF64B grinder. All right. I'm just going to show you guys quick. Again. So this is the, I think this is only 15 grams. Okay. Now I'm going to do without RDT, which means no rust droplet technique. There we go. Like I mentioned, we are in Arizona. It's pretty dry. Remove that. You see here? This is why, okay, the RDT is must, right? Just make sure you have a, a little bit of brush too. I, th I believe uh, when you buy the F64V, it comes with a brush. Okay, it's so nice to have that. You can actually take this one out and also you can take the, this piece out as well. Okay, if you want to clean it properly. But usually just to take the uh, top off, should be fine. That's it. Again. Uh, it's not a whole lot of static there, but RDT is must. Okay, oh, all right. I think again, overall cup quality is great uh, for the value, fantastic, but. Uh, if that static bothers you, uh, do a couple drops of water, does the wonders. I know a lot of people likes to use a spray bottle too. I mean, that's even better, okay? Spray bottle does even better. But personally, I like to uh, you use spoon and couple drops of water. I don't like to use too much water. Anyway, I hope this video helps. And hopefully you're going to make a decision, make a better decision um, uh, buying a grinder. Next, there's a lot of resources out there on the web. Make sure go through it. Just watch all of them, okay? Watch all of them. And see if that grinder is something you want to purchase. Huge investment, guys. Uh, this grinder is not cheap, okay? Four, five hundred bucks for grinder. So it is a very pricey item, okay? Price gear, so. Uh, I mean, if, if you're happy with your built-in grinder on your Brista Express or Pro, that's fine, but if you want, if you want to branch out, okay, even more as your coffee, as your hobby, having a separate grinder is definitely helpful. I hope you guys are having a great morning, and see you guys next time.